Now see a relation between two principal specific heats of a gas that is also known as Mayer's formula. Actually we have to derive here Cp minus Cv is equal to R, where R is a gas constant. Now see oh, if you have taken 1 gram mole of the gas and it is heated at constant volume. So, first I am taking here at constant volume. So, see here when 1 gram mole of the gas is supplied heat suppose delta Q to raise the temperature by dt by we can write here by here this delta T here. So, this can be written C V into 1 into here delta T. So, we can also write here d q is equal to C V into d T. So, when the d q heat is supplied to the 1 gram mole of the gas, its temperature rises by d T and specific heat at constant volume is C V. So, this is the first one here for the heat supplied to the gas at constant volume. Now, we can use this formula d q is equal to d u plus d w according to first law of thermodynamics. So, we can write here C v d t is equal to d u plus 0 because volume is constant. So, d v is equal to 0. So, the work done is 0. So, we can write d u is equal to C v d t. This I can take as a equation number 1. So, now we have done at constant volume, now we will take here at constant pressure, at constant pressure. Now, see here, suppose 1 gram mole of the gas is again supplied heat d q dash and its temperature raises by d t. So, we can write here C p into d t. Now, but in this case work is also done. So, we can write here dW dash is equal to here P into dV. Suppose volume increases by here dV. So, the according to first law of thermodynamics, we can write dQ dash is equal to dU dash plus P dV that is a uh, this one work done. And here we can write this is here Cp actually. So, Cp dT is equal to dU dash plus P dV. Now, see here in this case also temperature is increase, increasing here by d t, in previous case also temperature increases by d t. So, in both the cases internal energy will remain same. So, we can write here d u dash is equal to d u is equal to C v d t because the increase in temperature is same. So, we can write here C p d t is equal to C v d t plus P d v. Now, we can write C p minus C v is equal to P d v upon d t. This we can take as equation 2. Now, you know it that relation also P v is equal to R t. So, when we write here P v is equal to R t and differentiate both the sides. So, we will be getting here P v is equal to R t gas equation and differentiating both the sides you will be getting P d v is equal to R d t. So, here you will be getting here R is equal to P d v upon d t. So, now in place of this one we can write R. So, this equation will become here now C p minus C v is equal to R. So, R is ha R has a positive value. So, we can say C p minus C v is greater than 0 therefore, C p is greater than C v. So, this is the relation between principal specific heat of the gases. Now, C p is a space molar specific heat at constant pressure and C v is molar specific heat at constant volume, where R is your universal gas constant you know it. And now, in this case this formula is also known as Mayer's formula.